dear students so in this session we will work out one problem on evaluation of the credit policy so coming under the receivable management module so here you will work out one problem of mangalore university bba fifth semester examination held in 2017 question paper problem so in this problem basically you will be given some condition with respect to the present credit policy in the same manner the company wish to go for a proposed credit policy making some modification in the terms and conditions and ultimately you will be asked a question or you should be uh, given the suggestion whether the company can go for the proposed one or they have to stick to the present one fine so we will uh, analyze the problem next we will go for the solution part so varun company currently makes all the sales on credit basis and offers no cash discount and it is considering a 2% cash discount for payment within 10 days so here firm wish to go for giving or granting cash discount to the credit customers if they make payment within 10 days the firm's current average collection period is 60 days andre iga prasthuta ondu policy alli avaru 60 divasada ondu credit period annu customers ge nedta iddare and sales are 2 lakh units selling price is 30 rupees per unit variable cost is 25 per unit at the current sales volume next it is considering that the change in credit terms will result in increase in sales to 2 lakh 25000 units and the average collection period will fall to 45 days however due to increased sales increased working capital required will be rupees 1 lakh assuming 50% of the total sales will be on cash discount in proposed plan 20% is a required return on investment should the proposed discount be offered so when you go through this particular problem the major area is whether the company can offer that varun company can offer cash discount or not so we have to make evaluation of the present as well as the proposed one from the sales we have to deduct the operating cost as well as the financial cost then in which policy the net gain will be more so such policy can be proposed fine students so we will go to the solution part here i will explain the steps one by one so already in the previous session or in previous video i explained the format of evaluation of the credit policy so very simple format is here first you will start with the particulars and make two columns for present and proposed policy next is better to write the average collection period it is given 60 days for present policy and 45 days for proposed policy then sales they given in the problem actually here it is given in terms of units 
So units are put that our sales are known. So we have to convert that into volume. So first we will write in terms of units. For the present it is 2 lakh and for the proposed is 2 lakh 25,000. And the given that selling price is rupees 30 per unit. So if you multiply 2 lakh into 30, so you will get 60 lakh for present policy. In the same manner, 2 lakh 25 into 30, you will get 67 lakh 50,000. So this is the first step. Write the sales in terms of volume. Next, less variable cost. That is also given 25 rupees per unit. So again, sales units you have to take 2 lakh into 25, 50 lakh we will get. In the same manner, 2 lakh 25 into 25, we will get 56 lakh 25,000. Next one, you deduct that, you will get contribution, sales plus variable cost. 10 lakh and 11 lakh 25,000. Less fixed cost. If it is given in the problem, you have to mention here. But in this problem, they are not given fixed cost. So you can write nil. So there will be no confusion. Next, the answer will be operating profit. It is 10 lakh for present one and 11 lakh 25,000. Next, we have to deduct the financial costs. So, in this problem, there are three financial costs cash discount, working capital, and cost of investment in debtors. Now, coming to cash discount costs, in the problem, they mentioned that the company is giving cash discount at 2%. The customers if they make payment within 10 days so that is the terms now at the end of the problem they given that assuming 50 percent of the sales will be on cash discount means 50 percent of the customers or we can we can consider that 50 percent of sales will be paid within 10 days for that they are eligible to get cash discount so, in the calculation, total sales, you will take 67,50,000, proposed one, into 50%, because this is, as per the condition given in the problem, and into 2%, that is the rate of cash discount. So, your cash discount cost will be 67,500. So, deduct that. So here there is no cash discount for the present policy. So here 10 lakh. So when you deduct here, it will come 10 lakh 57,500. Next cost. Usually working capital cost will not be there in the evaluation. But here it is mentioned in the problem because of the increase in sales. The working capital requirement also increased 1 lakh. But here we can't take 1 lakh, so you have to multiply it by ROI because if you invest that money in any kind of investment alternatives, so you may get 20% return. But here now you are not getting that, you are foregoing that. So that cost you are considering here, so 1 lakh into 20%, so you are writing here. 20,000. So again, deduct that. Present policy will be 10 lakh. And for proposed policy, it will be 10 lakh 37,500. Now, the last financial cost is the cost of investment in debtors. So there is a working note for that. So how? We got that 1,66,667. So that will be discussed here. 
So cost of investment in debtors. There is one formula. Cost of sales divided by debtors turnover into return on investment ROI. So first you require cost of sales. Get that. Cost of sales actually it is variable cost plus fixed cost. But e problem only namge fixed cost only lavaru. So we can take only variable cost. So we can write that 50 lakh and 56 lakh 25,000. Next one is debtors turnover ratio. How many times the debtors will be operating? So there is a one formula for that number of days in a year divided by the average collection period. So number of days in a year we can assume that 360 days for our calculation purpose. So under the present one 360 upon 60 days that is average collection period. So turnover ratio will be 6 times here. In the same manner 360 upon 45 if we will do it will come 8 days. So apply the formula 50 lakh into 6 upon 6 into 20 percent so the cost is 1,66,667 in the same manner for proposed policy also you will get 1,40,625 that means this much amount you will lose because of not investing in any kind of investment so you will get payment after 60 days in the present policy. In the same manner, in the proposal one also, you will get payment after 45 days. So that cost you are writing here. And ultimately, if you deduct that, so you will get a net gain 8,33,333 for present policy. And for proposed policy, it is 8,96,875. So now among the, these two figures we have to compare. In which policy the net gain is highest? Actually, the net gain is in proposed policy. So ultimately we can conclude that or we can give the suggestion. Yes, company is advised to offer cash discount on proposed policy because you can write that reason the net gain is greater than present policy thank you